The Henrico mother and her children lost nearly everything after a mold outbreak at their apartment complex. After weeks of waiting for management to help, she reached out to the problem solvers. Our Joy Foltz went to work to get answers to find out your rights as a renter. Everywhere. It just bloomed and blossomed and it was just everywhere. When Henrico resident Benefa Anning left her apartment for the night, my AC went out on the Friday, the June, um, sorry, not June, July 29th. She couldn't believe how different her home looked when she and her family returned the next day. Uh, we went, we went to the synagogue. We hung out for a little bit. By the time we got back home around 6:30, there was mold everywhere. The mother of two lives at Canterbury Square Apartments in Henrico and says she was shocked at how much mold covers so many of their belongings. It's like on the kitchen cabinets, so it looked like white um like white spots in the like in the actual crevices of the counters it's um like green and gray anning immediately notified the rental office but says because it was the weekend she didn't expect an answer but while waiting on a response anning took this video on her phone she says things like dishes her clothes kids clothes furniture and even work equipment were covered in mold currently my work equipment is growing literally she says it was the next Monday she went to the rental office and was notified that it wasn't just her unit and that the issue would be fixed soon. In the meantime, took my kids out of there, you know, so we stayed at a combination of, um, let's see, a, a hotel um, with my parents, with a friend. Like After 13 days, Anning says she called the rental office to ask if they would pay for the hotel in which they agreed. And after 22 total days, Anning says she was told, um, Hello, we currently have to do work in this unit, but you can return to your home. After the prior email, um, they sent me an email saying that there was no mold, this one. And so I hired an industrial hygienist. We spoke with Vance Environmental, who said they expedited lab tests because of the condition. Joe Vance with the company told us normal conditions are around 2,000, but the penicillium mold levels. Inside my apartment, it was 16,000. 53 in my children's room. This is where he took that in my kids room. It was 18,293 mm -hmm. and is currently not acceptable for occupancy. Please call me if you need any additional information, Joe. He also told me that it was because of the AC. The AC failed. And based on a quote from ServPro, it would cost at least $52,000 to clean the items that can be saved as some things would have to be thrown away. You're affecting, you know, through not only my children's life, not only my life, but my our clients. <laughs> Essentially, we're starting over. There's there's no other way to say that. None of this is her fault. And according to Martin Wegbright with Central Virginia Legal Aid Society, receiving compensation for mold related damages are typically the responsibility of the landlord. The advice for tenants is always put it in writing. But the law is clear that it is the responsibility of the landlord to make sure that there is no visible mold in the unit when it's rented and throughout the entire tenancy. Benefa says as of this week, a new management company has taken over and they've been very, very helpful with her new apartment. But as for compensation for both her hotel and the items she lost, we've reached out to that management company and are still waiting to hear back. We'll also have the link for her family's GoFundMe on our website at WTVR.com.